In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can qualify for the Arbitrum airdrop and potentially earn four to five figures with only an hour of work. Welcome back to the Virtual Bacon channel where I teach you how to build wealth with crypto. Airdrops are one of the easiest ways to make money with crypto and the upcoming Arbitrum airdrop could be one of the biggest in 2023. But in order to qualify and receive this free money, you need to perform some tasks on the Arbitrum network. So in this step-by-step -step guide, I'll show you exactly where to go and which tasks to complete in order to qualify for the airdrop when it launches. Now, let's get started. The first step is to set up a MetaMask wallet and fund it with some Ethereum. I'm gonna assume you have this set up, but if you haven't yet, you can go to the MetaMask website or even check out my tutorial video on my YouTube channel. The next step is to use the official Arbitrum bridge to send some ETH from Ethereum mainnet to the Arbitrum network. You should do this with the official bridge hosted by Arbitrum. You can access it on bridge.arbitrum.io. This will move some of your Ethereum from Ethereum network to Arbitrum so it can be used for gas fees and all the other applications that we're going to try out today. Also, by using the official Arbitrum bridge, instead of sending some Ethereum to Arbitrum from a centralized exchange, you can also potentially qualify for more rewards as this is one of the applications that they've built for the ecosystem. Next, you'll want to go to DeFi Llama and look for the top decentralized applications that are built exclusively for Arbitrum. So head on over to DeFi Llama and under the DeFi tab, go to chains and here you can find all the different blockchains out here including Arbitrum so click Arbitrum and down here you see all the names of all the top protocols that are currently built on Arbitrum. Now I want to draw your attention to the chains category and we're looking for projects that only have the Arbitrum badge or for example GMX who also prioritizes Arbitrum. These are the main projects that only started on Arbitrum and they have the biggest chance to be included in the airdrop because they have a close relationship with the Arbitrum and Arbitrum will likely want their users to try out these applications first. So here are my picks for the biggest products that are also the easiest to try. First, the exchanges. You can trade a few dollars on each of these exchanges and provide some liquidity, then withdraw the money and only need to pay gas fees. So these pretty much cost no money. Try out the GMX exchange, Mycelium and Camlot exchange. Next are the lending and borrowing protocols. Same thing for these, deposit some money to the lending pool, then withdraw it right away. This way you don't need to pay any money except for the gas fees. The main one to try is Radiant Capital. Then we have options protocols. Also deposit some money to the options vault, then withdraw it and you don't have to pay anything. The main one to try here is Dopex. Lastly, use the main stablecoin protocol, which is Vesta Finance. For this, you can go to the ETH vault and deposit some Ethereum into this vault and mint some of the native stablecoin, which is VST. Then you can give back that stablecoin and withdraw your ETH back. So again, you don't actually have to spend any money except for gas fees. Quick plug, if you're looking for an exchange that works anywhere without KYC and straight from your self-custody wallet, check out Apex Exchange with the link in my profile. This is a next-gen decentralized exchange that have a very similar experience to an advanced one like Binance and Bybit. And this is actually the official DEX made by Bybit. You can trade all kinds of coins, long and short, and even use leverage, although it's not recommended. And Apex actually supports Arbitrum Network and is part of the Arbitrum Odyssey program. So just by trying Apex, you should be able to qualify for more rewards in Arbitrum Odyssey as well. Win-win. Make sure to sign up with the link in my profile or use code BACON for a 10% discount on your trading fees forever. Now back to the regular programming. Okay, step four is to interact with the major DeFi giant protocols that are deployed on Arbitrum. These are the biggest products such as Uniswap, SushiSwap, Curve Finance, Balancer, and Aave. You probably are already familiar with these on the Ethereum network, but these are also functioning on the Arbitrum network. It's also worth interacting with these because they all have major partnerships with Arbitrum officially. But when you are trying these protocols, make sure you are using it on the Arbitrum network instead of other networks like Ethereum. Step five is to join the official Arbitrum Discord and get all the special roles. You can access the Discord with the link discord.gg slash Arbitrum. After you join, there are many special roles you can get by interacting with other apps in the ecosystem. You can find a complete list for these on guild.xyz. Most of these roles only require you to hold 0.001 of one of the tokens on the Arbitrum network, such as GMX, Link, 
live peer, Dopex, etc. So even if you get all of these rolls, it will only cost you maybe one or two dollars. Definitely do all of these as well. It's literally free and only cost some time. After completing each task, go to the Guild XYZ website again and then connect your wallet and connect your Discord to get the rolls automatically. Then step six is to follow the Arbitrum Odyssey program. Unlike the previous things we've mentioned, which are purely speculation on which projects will be included in the Arbitrum airdrop, there is actually an official program called Arbitrum Odyssey, which guarantees you'll get the airdrop. This is a marketing initiative for eight weeks that allows users to try projects in the Arbitrum ecosystem, and it's launched by Arbitrum team. However, this campaign only ran for one week in 2022, but was paused due to a network upgrade. So far, participants have only received the one NFT, but no tokens. So now we know the clear plan. We just have to wait for the Arbitrum Odyssey program to resume in 2023 and complete all the tasks. The first step to enter the Arbitrum Odyssey program is to buy the completion NFT for the first week that we mentioned in 2022. You can find this collection on OpenSea. These NFTs cost 0.01 ETH or about $20 each. I think it's definitely worth spending this amount of money. Then you should head on over to the Arbitrum Discord again and check out the Odyssey FAQ channel where you can find all the details and the potential new weeks coming in 2023 and all the tasks. Make sure to set alerts for this channel as well as all the Arbitrum social media accounts so you don't miss the Arbitrum Odyssey program when it relaunches sometime this year. This is by far the most important step, so do not miss it. Make sure you understand what the Arbitrum Odyssey is. Basically, when it restarts again, you can complete all of these tasks by interacting with the each applications for the week, and then you can go on this Arbitrum Odyssey campaign page and claim the specific NFT for each week. And the more NFTs you get, I think the more RB tokens you get from the airdrop. That's the end of the guide. And now you have a very high chance to receive the Arbitrum airdrop when it launches in the future. Feel free to rewatch this video as you complete the tasks mentioned in the video. And most importantly, make sure to follow the Arbitrum Odyssey program as this is the only guaranteed way to get the airdrop. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to my channel so I can update you when the Arbitrum token launches. Also sign up for my free newsletter on virtualbacon.com. Every week I write about the latest market events, hottest narratives and my personal investing insights, such as airdrop guides like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.